Hello everyone and welcome to another edition of Random Video Thursday. And uh, today it's going to be another uh, book review. I haven't done a book review in uh, a few months now. Uh, the last book review I did was earlier this year uh, when I did the review of that uh, President's book, The Presidents of America. I decided since that video was so successful, I decided to finally do a, uh, a second book review. And uh, going to be another... and. Uh, this week, um, going to do another Beatles themed video, and uh, that's the book I'm going to review. This, uh, this uh, today's random book that I'm going to review, A Hard Day's Right, the story behind every Beatles song. Uh, this book was written by Steve Turner, and uh, it tells the story behind every song that the Beatles wrote. First off, let's take a look at the title. Uh, the title, A Hard Day's Right, is an obvious parody on A Hard Day's Night, the band's third album. But uh, one nice thing I like about the books is it, it has the story behind every song, a uh, little timeline in the back, a uh, uh, short history of all the albums. Uh, it's even got the dates where... Uh, all the song were, uh, all the albums were released. All the songs were released. And for hit singles, it's got their UK and US chart position, which I think is pretty nice. As well as many uh, pictures. It's, it's mainly a, a picture book. Look. So here's an example. This is the Beatles on the cover of Life magazine, 1964. And some of the pictures are actually pretty silly. This is Paul McCartney looking at a wax sculpture of himself. But yeah, this tells the story behind every song by the Beatles. So I'll actually tell you one of the one of these uh, stories. Uh, and there's a lot to choose from, so uh, let's uh, let's start with, or else, actually let's uh, let's do a well-known song. Uh, how about uh, how about Ticket to Ride? Let's start with that. Ticket to Ride was written by John Lennon and Paul McCartney as a single and was described by John as, quote, one of the earliest heavy metal records made. Although they were pipped at the post in the heavy metal stakes by the Kinks uh, song, You Really Got Me, this was the, Be this was the first Beatles track to feature an, an insistent clanking riff underpinned by a heavy drum beat, and it used a fade-out with an altered melody, melody used in the movie Help during the Austrian snow scenes, it was released as a single on April 9th, 1965, and had already topped the charts in Britain and America by the time the film came out that out in July of that year, just a couple months later. Paul confessed to his biographer Barry Miles that the apparently loopy suggestion made by some American Beatles fans at the time that the song was song was refer at the time that the song was referring to a British Railways ticket to the town of Ride on the Isle of Wight was partly right. Uh, Paul's cousin Betty Robbins and her husband Mike ran the Bow Bars in Union Street ride and Paul and John had visited them there although the song was primarily about a girl riding out of the life of the narrator they were conscious of the potential uh, for a double meeting Don Short a show business journalist who traveled extensively with the Beatles in the 1960s was told by John that the phrase had yet another meaning. Quote, 
the girls who worked the streets in Hamburg, Germany, had to have a clean bill of health, and so the medical authorities would give them a card saying that they did not they didn't have a dose of anything, says Short. Quote, I was with the Beatles when they went back to Hamburg in June of 1966, and it was then that John told me that he had coined the phrase, a ticket to ride, to describe these cards. He could have been joking. You always had to be careful with John like that, but I certainly remember him telling me that. So that's an example of uh, one of the stories. But uh, most of them are uh, most of them are fairly simple and uh, and yeah, pretty interesting. So yep, that is uh, that's the book, A Hard Day's Right. It's a great book if you're a, if you're a Beatles fan. It's definitely a fun book to read. Um, started reading it about four years ago and learned a lot of great uh, Beatles knowledge. And that's all for Random Video Thursday. Please remember to like the video, share it with your friends, comment down below, and please subscribe. Thanks for watching another great Beatles-themed video, and I'll see you next time. Take care.